DLP technology. You've heard me talking about it on our show for years, and uh, I'm very fond of it. It's an all-digital imaging device that's used in some of the best HD TVs and projectors, as well as many digital cinemas now as well. U.S. Business Development Manager for Texas Instruments, the developers, the licensors of this DLP technology is Bob Wudek. Bob, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Very good, thank you. Did I do a little justice in explaining all of that, and did I pronounce your name right? You pronounced my name right and did great justice good. to it. <laughs> good, very fine. So, DLP technology, how do you describe what it does and how it works to those that go, okay, it's initials, but what does it mean, digital light processing? How, what does that mean? Well, basically, it's a, a million tiny mirrors on a chip that uh, is amazingly creating a picture. Uh, the mirrors... Uh, work similar to a uh, PC in that they're binary. They turn on and off, but they turn on and off about thousands of times a second. Wow. And in the <laughs> process, uh, they, they can create a uh, very accurate, digitally accurate picture that really is superior to any other technology out there. Well, how is it then that these million mirrors are actually doing what they do to make the picture? I mean, turning on and off, and, and it's like, okay, we've sort of got the concept, but what does that have to do with such an incredible looking picture? Well, the real genius is is that uh, it uses a, a chip-making semiconductor process so that it's a very reliable, a very duplicatable uh, process that we can make these mirrors uh, operate independently. So each mirror controls one or more pixels on the screen. And by applying a uh, color wheel or LED uh, technology, we can precisely control the amount of color that each pixel is for wow. each frame independent. So when you think about the engineering of the whole thing, it, it really becomes mind-numbing. Uh, but when you look at the picture, it, it's very, very pleasing to your eye. And for those of you who are coming by our website and watching the video podcast, I'm holding up, for example, a DLP chip, and it's very tiny. It's, it's very small that, that to have such power and such engine, if you will, running uh, what turns out to be incredible displays is truly amazing. And I think it's fair to say, uh, you probably hear too much of it, that I guess folks used to think of Texas Instruments as, oh, that great calculator company, all right? That's what you've known, been known for all these years. Then DLP happened, and it's a major turnaround with a, a, a very unique technology that is uh, just really blowing us away lately. And you guys are doing just that. So, well, then what's new in DLP technology? Now we know what it is and how it's working, and it is amazing. Uh, what are you showing here at IFA? Well, we're showing two uh, very interesting uh, new processes. One is uh, a, a technology that we call Brilliant Color that is being used in the television and in the new front projection products that are coming out this year, where instead of uh, traditionally three colors is used to create the, the image on the screen, we're now using as many as six. So if you think about all of the dynamics that would go into uh, figuring out what, how to make a, a certain shade of teal with six different uh, colors. Because we generally tend to think of red, blue, and green, and everything else is a combination of some of those, right? So w w when you're doing six, is it just that it's more brilliant then somehow? It's more brilliant. <laughs> you get better things like skin tones because you uh -huh. can be more exact to be able to match uh, a, a very difficult color like a, a flesh tone or a teal or some of these. Uh, very natural colors. So it's uh, some of the tricks that we've learned from our cinema uh, technology uh, when we work with the Hollywood producers that then we can maybe put onto a, a chip and figure out how to do that uh, in an inexpensive DLP TV or uh, projector. So it's not enough that it's spectacular looking high definition, for example, what you're using DLP in many cases, that, that now there's even more brilliant colors literally jumping out at us. Exactly. And when you talk about jumping out at us, it kind of reminds me of 3D. Yes. And I saw a unique uh, system that Samsung had at a press event in New York a, a month or so ago. And is that what's being displayed here as well? That there's a new 3D DLP TV that literally jumps out at you? Well, it, it doesn't have legs, but uh, <laughs> the image does jump out at you once you, put, uh, once you see it. Uh, it is a 3D TV. It's the first public showing of the DLP 3D technology and televisions uh, worldwide. Uh, and what enables it is that little mirror bouncing back and forth can actually, goes fast enough, thousands of times a second, remember, yeah. that, that it can create multiple images with one chip. So uh, it's a feat of engineering that uh, it's difficult to understand, but it really works. So uh, all you, the, the new um, 
TVs that are coming out from Samsung and Mitsubishi, now I have this capability put in. And of course, while you still need to wear a pair of glasses, they're mm -hmm. not big, bulky, ugly things. As a matter of fact, we have some here. I've got a pair right here. I thought maybe it was just your sunglasses. For <laughs> but I'm now uh, putting on, and, and this is... Uh, That's a, the electronics, a, the on electronics. and off switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Th again, those of you watching the podcast, you see that they're not big, bulky, obtrusive, the old stuff we used to have to wear, or they're not flimsy cardboard either. So this is what you would then utilize to watch these images literally jump out at you. Exactly. And it truly is amazing. I mean, when I watched this, it, it threw me because I thought the stuff was coming at me. <laughs> and, and it does look that way because the, the chip can, can precisely figure out which is going into the left eye and which is going into the right eye. And when it's synced up with the glasses, the amount of separation uh, is amazing. And, and it's the separation of the left and the right combined with the speed of the mirrors and the DLP chip that enable that image to come together perfectly uh, in your brain. So when you're looking at that TV set, it looks as real as anything I've ever seen before. Now, will these be available, exa for example, for our listeners in the States, holiday time frame? Is that kind of the plan for these new TVs? We, we expect that. Dynamite. Well, check them out more at DLP.com. Very easy to remember. Digital Light Processing. It's DLP.com. Bob Wodek, uh, U.S. Business Development Manager for Texas Instruments. Keep doing cool things with these million mirrors, and darn it, we'll keep talking about them. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. We're back with more from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.